All right, hello fourth and fifth grade. Today is day 38 of our video lessons. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you are do you're all staying safe and I hope you're all um, doing healthy. Um, today is pickup day from 12 to 3.30 um, at the school. So hopefully you're on your way or you already picked up your packets. But one thing I am gonna say is that it's not a packet this time. It's only about um, just a few sheets and they're all instructions. Um, now, this is because, like I said last week, um, we're gonna be moving on to Seesaw. I'm gonna be uploading um, your work through there, and then you're gonna be completing it and uploading it through there. We're gonna be using a combination, everybody, so that means we're gonna be using a mixture of both um, Google Forms and Seesaw, okay? And I'm gonna explain it every day in the videos, what you need to do and what you need to complete. So again, the main thing that you should be doing is watching the videos every day because I go over um, what you're gonna need to do for that day, okay? Um, and then I also included maybe some questions that you might have about the class or about Seesaw or anything else on that paper. Um, so go ahead and, and take a look at that. Go ahead and, and read that fully with your parents, okay? But for today, I'm not gonna be doing or we're not going to go over any new material, any new lessons. Instead, I'm just going to go over um, really quick on how you're going to log into Seesaw, um, just in case you don't know how to, okay? But even, even if you do know how to log into Seesaw, I highly recommend that you watch this full video, okay? Um, but again, I'm going to remind you all to please be sure that you're watching the videos every day. Um, it doesn't matter what time, if I post it at 11 o'clock, you can watch it, um, you know, later at 2 p.m. Or if I post it at 12 p.m., then watch it whenever you have the time. But just be sure that you watch it, that you find some time and watch it during the day, okay? Um, but other than that, I think that is it. We have five weeks, everybody. Um, five weeks left of school. I'm going to do my best to try to make sure that we're having fun, but that we're also learning what we need to learn. Um, for the remainder of the year. So, I mean, really just give yourself a pat on the back because we're almost done with the school year. Um, I will say that it has been a great pleasure and I've had a lot of fun um, working with both classes. I think that you've all grown a lot and I'm very proud to have been your teacher this year, all right? Um, but it's not over. We have five weeks left, so let's make sure that we finish off strong. Um, so that you're ready for the upcoming school year, okay? Um, and again, hopefully, you know, we let's pray every day that uh, we get to go back um, by by next school year. We'll everything will be back to normal, hopefully, and we'll be able to see each other um, face to face in the classroom, okay? But if but if not, don't worry, we're still gonna keep learning, okay? But again, let's pray for that everything goes back to normal. Um, Wednesdays are rosary meetings at 8.45, so please join us if you haven't already, and we, ha we will have a Zoom meeting today at 1 o'clock for 5th grade and 1.30 for 4th grade, okay? Um, and if you have any other questions, students or families, um, go ahead and message me on the Remind, okay? I have the, my Remind code on that sheet of paper that you hopefully you picked up today, all right? But other than that, that is it, everybody. Let's go ahead and get started. Again, we're just gonna go through a tutorial on how to use Seesaw, all right? Um, so first thing you're gonna need to do is, well, you're gonna have to go to Seesaw.com. Seesaw.com. And it should take you to this page right here. Now, you're already, logged in right so you're not going to click any of these two instead you're going to click this login button right here now i'm going to sign in as a teacher but you're going to sign in as your as a student okay um you all know how to log in if you need a code for example if i'm a student you're going to put um the code right or you're going to sign in however you normally sign in i know that you use seesaw for miss gillespie's class um, but if you're having trouble signing in, just let me know. You do need a code. If you lost that code, uh, message me and I, I'll send you a code that you can use to log in, okay? 
but I'm going to log in as my, as me as a teacher. And put in my password. And let's log in. All right. So as you can see, much like you, there are, I already logged in. I already um, created accounts for you for my class. So for example, if you are in my fourth grade class, you are already logged in. Same thing if you are in my fifth grade class. I already created accounts for you. Oh no, this is fifth grade ELA. This is how my class should look like right here. Mr. Yannis, fifth grade class if you're in fifth grade. And this is Mr. Yannis, fourth grade class in blue if you are in fourth grade, okay? Now, again, you are already logged in. All you need to do is go to this tab right here where it says your name, and then you go to the appropriate class. For example, if you are in fourth grade, um, you're probably gonna see fourth grade ELA and Mr. Yannis fourth grade. For my class, you're obviously gonna go to where it says Mr. Yannis. So you click on it. And then if you are through the student view, you're gonna see activities, okay? And in activities, here's what you're gonna need to do for today, all right? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and read the instructions. So to get used to Seesaw, we will be drawing a planet, or you will be drawing a planet. Your instructions for today's activity will be to draw a planet, any planet. Uh, you can draw it here, or you can draw it on a piece of paper and upload it here. And I attached an example. Um, so let's take a look at it. So this is my planet that I drew. Um, I think it looks pretty cool, actually. Um, and I will show you how I will show you all how to use um, all the tools and stuff from Seesaw. Okay. Um, but this is what I have. This is Mars. And let's go ahead and um, and draw one. All right. So what you can do, what or what I did, is that I clicked drawing. Now, if I click drawing, it's going to give me this blank page, and I could draw a bunch of stuff. Um, and and yeah, or what you can do also is let's go ahead and go back. What you can do also is you can upload so you can take a photo of it on your phone and then or on your laptop or your computer whatever and then upload it or you can take a photo straight from here so here see you could take a photo of uh, your drawing from here i'm using a laptop but you can also take a photo through your phone okay um you could even do a video if you like notes um you can't really do much in notes because it's really just to take notes But what I did, everybody, is that I clicked drawing and then I just made my planet straight from here. And again, it has a lot of cool um, tools. So for example, what I did is I went to background and I think I chose this one. And then I put shapes. And then I just kept copying and pasting these shapes everywhere. Right? I can make them bigger or I can make them smaller. I'm gonna leave it like that. And then I added a circle shape. I could, you could change the color of it like this. You can make it bigger if you like. And then what I did is I just added some dots to it to make it look like a planet. You see like that, like that something like that you see now if i wanted to erase it i could go ahead and click eraser i could choose the size of that eraser and then i can start over this is magic marker stuff that i think is pretty cool but for some reason it just comes out white so i'm not going to use that So again, I'm just making some holes in the planet, some craters. Okay, 
and then you can add a title to it. So I don't know, this might look like uh, Neptune, or Neptune's Blue actually, um, but just choose one. You can change the, um, you can change the, the font of it. You can make it like that or like that, but I chose this one. Um, you can choose to take off the box. So to look at that, you can change the color of it, which I will be doing. Oh, you could change it from right here, I forgot. Put yellow, Neptune, but Neptune is blue, but you get the point. Now, if you wanted to start over, or if you wanted to draw some stuff, you could just choose a pencil. You could put your name on it. Angel. Or you can erase it if you'd like. You can erase your whole drawing by clicking Erase Drawing, but I don't want to do that. And then when you're done, you click the check mark. And then look, that's it. So here you have two examples, okay? Um, but be creative, do whatever you want to do. Um, this is how I made mine, um, but I want to see how you're going to make yours, okay? Now fifth grade, it's the same thing. Um, and fourth grade, again, it's the same thing. So this is all you're doing for today, right? We're just getting used to Seesaw. Um, you're making a planet, which is going to work perfectly because our next science unit will be um, astronomy. It'll be space for both fourth and fifth grade, okay? So again, everybody, this is what you're going to be doing for today. So nothing new. Let's just get used to um, working with Seesaw. Pick up your packets, and um, and then we'll we'll get started with with Seesaw throughout this week. Okay, um, that's it, everybody. Um, I hope you're all doing safe, and hopefully see you all later for our Zoom meeting. Okay, have a great day.